Bible. Just holding it makes me feel secure and closer to God. So far, we have learned that God calls to us, and we must listen for His voice. He also shows us signs and wonders, and we must have our eyes open to take in His grace. And He writes to us letters of love that we call the Bible. But when Jesus died on the cross, He communicated His love for us in a different way. His body. Let's listen. I was not expecting there to be a fourth crowd to hear my story, but I'm glad to share with you. My name is Mary. And may know me that I'm a friend of Jesus. Well, I was before he died. His death was horrible and I can't talk about it without crying. I saw him on the cross. He didn't say much. He just stretched out his arms and showed his love for you and for me with his death. I went to church early Sunday morning so I can make sure no one had to serve the body. But when I got there, he was gone. At first, I was devastated, thinking I a thief who come and done something with him. But the angels talked with me, and then I heard his voice. It was beautiful and exciting and so full of love. He told me that he will come someday. In the meantime, I'm sharing my story with everyone who will hear it. You see, Jesus cares for me. He proved it when he died for me. And now, I want to care for others. Amen. We show our love for others through hugs and holding hands. If Jesus were here now, I would climb up on his lap and just gaze at him. I can't wait to hold his hand in heaven. When Jesus left this earth and went back to be with God in heaven, he didn't leave us alone. He sent the Holy Spirit, called the Comforter. I like that. It sounds warm and snug and secure. Here's a story of someone who knows all about that. Fellow believers, welcome, and may the Holy Spirit be in this place. My name is Paul, and I'm a traveling evangelist. I go where God tells me to go and share the love His Son, Jesus, has for each of us. You're probably wondering how I know where to go. This is a wonderful question, and I'm excited to tell you more. My traveling companion, Titus, and I decided to visit a town a great distance away. As we neared our destination, we were impressed that we should not go there. I can describe it only as heaviness in our hearts and a sense of unrest. We changed our course and started toward another town, and the same thing happened. Once again, we prayed for direction, and we both came to the conclusion that we should not go to the town at all. That night, I had a dream. Really, it was a vision. That's a dream that is inspired by God. In the dream, a man from Macedonia, a place we hadn't even considered going, was calling me, asking Titus and me to come to them. When I woke up, Titus and I agreed that this was the leading of the Holy Spirit. God was guiding us through the Holy Spirit, comforting us with the knowledge that we were on the right track. When God sends the comfort of the Holy Spirit, I will follow. Amen. 